What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another game show. My name's AJ Gels. How y'all doing? We are back with Fire Emblem Three Houses. This is the Black Eagles. Uh, let's play my first playthrough of the game. Uh, we are getting ready to do this next mission, uh, the Remir, Remir. I'm going. I'm going with Remir, even though I keep trying to say Remir. Uh, the Remir Calamity, however the hell it's pronounced. I don't. I don't fucking know. I'm getting tired. In all honesty, this is the last. Um, Last video I'm going to be able to do today before I have to head off to work. Or at least start getting ready for work. I probably should, uh, be, shouldn't be tired when I go into work, but, uh, oh ah, well. We've got to go. Now. The situation in Remire Village has changed. Remire, okay. We don't know much more than that. Maybe I should have picked up on that, seeing that they've pronounced the name of that village like 20 times already. Some say houses are burning. Regardless, we need to move. No, oh, they sound fine. Somebody please help. What's going on? Help yourself, kid. This is horrific. It's even more revolting. More terrible than I expected. Again, both dialogue options, the same thing. Why? True. But if we are not careful about how we proceed, we will only increase the death toll. The villagers are attacking each other. Let's knock them- Always so reckless. You do know that if we mess up, you will either kill or be killed, right? Still, we cannot just stand here twiddling our thumbs and doing nothing. I'd really like to go home now. But there's no time for thoughts like that. We have to help them. I am waiting for your orders with full readiness. Wait. Those people over there, they seem to be observing the chaos. They must be behind this. Eliminate them and rescue all of the unafflicted villagers. All right, let's go. Hey, this is a pretty simple, pretty straightforward map. In all honesty, it's you know it's knock out the villagers. You know they kind of they're kind of like a, like zombies. You know they have swords, but they really don't they don't hit that hard. They're just, uh, it's basically just save the villagers sort of map. And again, it starts us off by looking at our units. I really don't like that. But yeah, so rampaging villagers, they all have iron swords, 31 health. Eh, you know, I mean, they're tough, but they aren't impossible to take out. And basically the goal is to save the villagers. Uh, you know, we got to deal with these walls every so often. They're impossible. Or they're impassable. Let me use the correct, uh, the correct word for it. I don't want to get Petra or Ash back here to unlock that chest. And we got another one up here. Ah, oh, Tomas, the the uh, librarian. I wonder what he could be doing here. And we have the mysterious soldiers who are yeah those who slither in the dark. You know, I I feel like you could have come up with a shorter name for your organization. Just saying. All right, so yeah, like I said, pretty straightforward map. Um, I kind of wish that the the maps were a little larger in this. I mean, I I just I feel like they're on the small end, on the, on the small side, at least to me. Um, boo, boo, boo. I want to bring Flane because I want to give me that little extra bit of movement. Um, who to drop? Honesty, I no, I want him because he's kind of a tank. I need Linhart because he's a healer. I'm gonna honestly dump Hubert out right now because I don't need him necessarily in this map. So he'll actually be Linhart's backup. But yeah, I really I don't need him in this map. A flyer would be a lot more useful. Especially on a map that doesn't have any uh, bow units. At least from what I remember, it doesn't have any bow units. 
So yeah, so you know, Flane can just immediately fly over, start attacking this guy. Yeah, I think this is the smarter, smarter option. Sorry, I'm just kind of plotting out how I want to set things up here. There we go, I like that. Uh, I ran through inventory and everything ahead of time. I just want to double check, make sure our... Yep, our battalions are good. Alright, let's save the setup. And let's go. I have to press a button there. Looking ruffians out there. But our top priority is to rescue the villagers. Got it? I'll rein in the villagers who've turned violent. You focus on rescuing the others. Save the villagers that are being attacked by the rampaging citizens. Really, not that hard to do. All right, uh, who to lead I'll with? Uh, let's actually let's lead with Ash. Kill. All right, kid. We got to give you uh, give you some some more strength. I will prevail. And that tile's on fire. Probably don't want to stand on it. I will get the victory. No. So I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out how to do this with the least amount of weapon durability damage that I can. You will be flashed down. And don't worry guys, because of plot convenience, we're not killing these people. We're only injuring them. So now I mean she's going full swing with the sword. I don't know how she's injuring them, but she's injuring them. And that's what we're going with. He can't double me with the ja when I'm using a javelin, but he can double me when I'm coming at him with my lance. Fantastic. All right, let's move Linhart over. Eh, she doesn't need to be healed right away. And actually, we're just gonna finish him off with a bow shot. You know, don't boost strength. Thank you. I still think it's weird that strength helps determine your bow damage, but... You know, rules of the game are rules of the game are rules of the game, so... See, I know you can get killed by, you know, a punch to the face, but... Still, I like that. I, I, I like the unarmed, the unarmed attacks. That's my cue. Um, eh, let's have Edelgard do it. Why not? Just swings that big axe around. All right, not a great level up, but not a terrible one. Oh crap! Not actually the guy one to hit. And finally, we'll just move up by left, hold position. Yeah, I get it. It's a race against the clock, yet, in all honesty, the villagers aren't that tough to take out. Hell, and the villagers do that a lot, too. Most because these rampaging villagers kind of have some crap dexterity. Though, I guess it makes sense with their characters. But, you know, like, they'd have... 
weaknesses in certain areas like that. And Gerald hurts him with the lance and dodges back. And that's the pain in the ass about this one. That they come back. Oh, and... Oh, thank God he dodged. Dodged a 92. Oh, come on. Stop stealing my kills. And, you know, you get a guy down to 10 health. It's supposed to be a really easy kill for me. And the AI controlled... Uh, team ends up getting a lot of my kills. I freaking hate it. I why in games like these I hate it when the the one giving commands in the back. I'm certain that's Tomas the librarian. Uh, when you have allied um, computer controlled companions, I absolutely hate it. It just completely fucks with your strategy. Okay, what the fuck? I'm just like, I'm missing a lot of 91s. You know, I mean, that's, that's one of those, like, I'm not saying it's bullshit, but I'm not saying it smells right. Alright, we'll charge up here, take this guy out. And equip my gauntlets, even though I didn't want to equip my gauntlets, but whatever. Keeps trying to re-equip my weapons. have no one else who can do it. Byleth goes up, takes the kill shot. And as always, Dorothea follows Byleth because I'm trying to pair them together. Uh, oh, I can attack that wall. I'm like, why is attack an option? Oh, lovely. Yeah, they attack the villagers. He goes around me again, attacks the villager. I know I'm, fa yeah, I'm fast forwarding this just for the sake of brevity. I love how that one villager ran right into the enemy. Dude, you you got hit on a 32 chance to hit. That's, that's your own fault, in my opinion. Got him. Down that guy goes. Oh. 
Yes, now I know you just got hit with a giant axe, but uh, you're remember, you're not dead. You're uh, you're only incapacitated. So sending Petra towards the chest. Yes, he's an armored opponent. Attack them with magic. Winning's always nice. Bylith, have him chill. Get you know, you... Thank you, crit, where I didn't want to crit. Again, I just wanted to weaken so I could open up an attack with... Uh, with Flane. Is that so much to ask for? How... Oh, son of a bitch. There we go. Yeah, Caspar is exactly where I want him. Dare I even ask? I'm not Tomas. My name is Solon, the savior of all! Oh, so, you know, we, we know you're a sane person, then. You can't even speak. <laughs> you were so easily fooled by my disguise. Okay, one, like I said, like, when you start calling yourself, like, the savior of all and all that stuff again, like I said, you're, you're making me go, okay, so you're nuts. Two, what disguise? You just, you basically just did a whole, like, Emperor Palpatine thing where you went from being an old guy to looking like an even older guy, but now with gray hair and weird eyes. I was hiding away in Derek Mock to get the blood of that little girl called Flame. With her blood, we'll be one step closer to realizing our goal. Have a bit of fun here too. That's the Death Knight. He must be an ally of Tomas, or Solon, or whoever he is. Yeah, he's not taking out Ferdinand. And this is where this kind of turns into like some sort of like weird three-way battle. I guess actually it's not because the the ones who slither don't attack the Flame Emperor's army. They work in tandem in this one. But even then, ah, I get it. Lesson because you're a teacher at a school. That's clever. It's not. Okay, there we go. My turn again. Alright, so up here we've got uh, Flame Emperor, Army, people. Again, we can get another Dark Seal for defeating the Death Knight. And with these guys, you can get their uh, Crescent Sickle. I mean, I personally really like the Crescent Sickle. It's a really nice weapon, especially... Uh, I want it so whenever I make somebody a Dark Knight, I have a weapon that really kind of fits the character. That's right, I'm going, I'm going, uh, form over. I'm going, uh, what is it? Isn't form over substance? Not what I'm talking about? Thank you. There we go, Petra's almost there to save the day, get her out of the burning tiles. Oh, there we go. Jeez, if the javelin just didn't do so little damage. Oh, 
All right, you got a hit, you got a dodge. Let's see a strength upgrade. Nope. I'm smelling a reclass in her future. Mostly because she keeps class, she keeps getting upgrades in all of her uh, her magic ab magic abilities. Words are hard. I don't know why. So if all, in all honesty, I'm probably just gonna bench Flane. Um, I, I I know I said in a in a it was the last video that you know I kind of like to use all my students you know spread it the spread the love but frankly she's not getting if she's not getting strength which I need out of Pegasus Knight That's how um if she's not getting any strength upgrade she's dealing like five ten damage I'm to yeah I'm just gonna bench her because there's really no use for her, especially in the um. The Black Eagle House, where, you know, almost every one of their dogs a flipping mage. So it kind of defeats the purpose, if you ask me. And he's going to keep fighting that villager. I'm going to go save him. Really, he goes after the villager and not Flane. Okay. There we go. There you go, now run away. There we go, have him attack. Flane, seeing that she's pretty much got all that handled over there, start sending these guys this way. Hit him with a bow shot to weaken him. That's what give Linhard a kill. Not bad. Um, bu -bu -bu. not much else to do right now. I can't lose. I'll just crit with a hand axe. Okay. That'll work. So I'll drop him in there. Petra will come around here. Open the chest. And giant shell, if I remember correctly, that's a defensive upgrade. Actually, a good thing to put on... Um... Holy crap, why can't I think of his name? That's a good uh, good thing to put on Ash, especially if I'm going to use him as a more defensive character. Yeah, I know the Crescent Sickle effect looks really cool, but it really it doesn't do anything. It kind of looks like it has like a miasma or something coming off of it. It doesn't. It's just a cool looking visual effect. Tempest Lance will get us the kill, and again, maybe another level up for Flane. Or just a miss. You know, oh, fantastic. I am fine. Am I not? Alright, time to get her the hell out of there. There we go, I had to get that done. There 
And Edelgard, Edelgard will break down that wall. Just get the easy kill on that guy. And he picks up the Crescent Sickle. We'll wait in the bushes. And Dorothea and Byleth will continue to wait. Let's think carefully. And she got hit by that, apparently. Apparently both of them got hit by that. Is that all? See here, Flane, have her charge. Let's try that Tempest Lance one more time. There we go. We've rescued as many as we can. There we go. Villager saving portion is done. Could do that, or I could use my short axe after the archer. I like that idea better. Yeah, does it, oh yeah, I forgot Edelgard. Uh, now we actually don't we have two? Uh, yeah, you know, we have two crests now activated. We get the minor minor crest of Saros, raises might when using combat arts, and we also have crest of the goddess or the crest of flames. Excuse me. Oh, okay. I know where those. Okay, never mind. They're um, what's it called? I, I was trying to figure out. I'm like, why are they? They're rattled. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they can't move or benefit from a battalion or anything like that. I was trying to figure out why they. Um, well, it just seemed like they couldn't do anything right now. Or why their uh, their attack and everything was down, and it makes a whole hell of a lot more sense now. Worth a try. And they're gonna try this again. Edelgard does the right thing that time and dodge. And we get a hit, but he's still going down. Ah, crap. I placed her on a, on a tile that was going to get hit. And Bear Knuckle will take him down. Well, how was that? And Edelgard knocks him out. And 
Ferdinand will keep doing his little dance with this guy. Allied phase. You know what? Doesn't get the kill. I'm satisfied. Let's me open that chest. Horse Slayer. Which now, looking at it, probably would have been a good item to have on Sylvain. I get him with a Night Kneeler. His... And his double attack won't take Sylvain out. I should have paid more attention to the critical of that attack. I am Ferdinand von Iron. Let's hit him with the night nailer. The mark of there we go. Ferdinand now bumps up to level 20. Get him out of there. I'll give it my all. I will prevail. Put me in there. Stay focused. Yeah, fine. Cursed Fellstar. This will be a fine opportunity to measure your power. Why have you gone after this village? What are you planning? <laughs> I could have conducted this experiment on any test subjects. Now that I have what I came for, I must bid you farewell. I must go. Yeah, all right. We missed out on a dark Wait. seal, but damn it, he's gone. What was that missed out on a dark seal? But again, eh, I really don't use him. I, you know, I've used the one that I was really needed for uh, Hubert to make him a dark mage. So really, another dark seal I don't Let need. Him get away. I'll survey the village. Yeah. And got extra large bullion and an advanced seal. Awesome. That actually might really help when. Uh, Sylvain, or not Sylvain, when uh, we get back to base, because I believe Ferdinand we can uh, boost up to uh, to become a paladin. We somehow managed to sort things out, and casualties were kept to a minimum. They said they weren't picky about who they used as their test subjects. Because of them, the people of Ramire Village. There you are. that armor. So, you're the Flame Emperor. Yes. I believe you have met my subordinate, the Death Knight. Oh, we've met all right. But back to you. You're the one responsible for the destruction of this village. Do not get the wrong idea. What in blazes does that mean? It is true that I am working with Solon. But that does not mean our objectives are the same. Had I known they planned to do this, I would have stopped it. You have my word. Your words are meaningless. Now, I'll have to insist that you accompany us back to the monastery. I cannot abide that. However, if you wish to join forces, I will hear your plea. What? If left to their own devices, they will commit countless more violent acts like this one. Do you not wish to prevent that? With the sword of the Creator on our side, Solon would not be a threat. All 
I'm curious. You are lying. I can see that you cannot contain your fury toward me. Huh. Pray then why give me the option? Your choice. Gerald, Professor, have you seen Lady Edelgard? What's wrong, kid? Huh? Oh, damn it! Again, you have teleportation magic. How does everyone not know that? Or like, uh, it, like not just like you know they're always surprised when they teleport away, but also since coming to the monastery, you've changed. Uh, how how do you how do you not just teach that to everybody? You've been angry since we first arrived in Remire Village, and you look so happy when you're instructing the brats. Before the monastery, I'd never seen you bear your emotions like that. Not once. Then perhaps it's a good thing we came to the monastery. If only so I could see your face lit up like that. Or maybe there was never any reason for us to leave the monastery in the first place. Ah, uh, I've put my foot in my mouth, haven't I? Though I suppose it may be nearly that time. Come to my office when you next have a moment to spare. There's something I need to tell you. Just what was that about? I can't recall a time of old when you were at the monastery. I wonder what is hiding in the mist that is your past. Professor, I don't know if this is appropriate to say, but admirable work out there. Admirable. Really that's that that's the best they get. No mortal is all powerful. We must try to stay positive, even through the horror. I hear the so called Flame Emperor appeared in Remire Village as well. Hubert told me that you spoke with him. Really? Is that what you want, Professor? You know what? I'll go I'll go this route. Why not? How can you trust someone without even knowing who they are? Even if he wants you as an ally, his objectives are still unclear. If the Flame Emperor truly wishes to make use of your power, perhaps someday he will appear before you without his mask, and you can look in his eyes and decide what you believe. Adel, I need to ask you something. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I interrupt? No, not at all. If you... You know, I talk about Persona a lot just because of how much I absolutely love that series. You did well but that, awful that Monica chick village. looks like a Persona character to me. I am certain the goddess shares in our grief at the senselessness of that calamity. More importantly... I was shocked to hear that our own Tomas was actually a dark mage. I must reflect on our blindness. You surely must. You failed to notice that a rat was hiding in your home. Pathetic! I would go snake, but, you know, being them the one, the, them being the ones who slither, but whatever. These wicked foes. How did Tomas escape your gaze? Tomas came to the monastery 40 years ago, by recommendation of House Ordelia of the Alliance. Around eight years ago, he went back to House Ordelia, before returning to the monastery once again, just last year. After having worked at Gerig Mach for decades, why would he betray us now? Just what did he hope to accomplish? Yuritsa became a professor at the Officers' Academy because of a recommendation from the Imperial Nobility. Supposing that he is the Death Knight, that means that our enemy is an organization that has taken root in at least two territories. In the long history of the Church of Seros. No, long before even that. There have been an endless number of threats to the peace of Fodlin. Yet those who oppose us still operate in the shadows. Their identity is a mystery. I believe that Solon and the Death Knight are merely one part of a much larger whole. A threat to Fodlin's peace? That means we have no choice. We have to stop them all. 
Without knowing what their objective is, we cannot afford to act recklessly. The Knights will investigate. For now, you and your class should focus on your training. That is all for today. Professor, please wait. I know there is much that you still do not understand. However, one thing is clear. You possess great power. I believe that you are destined to be a source of great hope for all. In any case, I expect great things from you. Walk this world proudly, dear Professor. May the Goddess Sothis protect you. The Goddess Sothis? Is that what she just said? Is something the matter? I see. Sothis is the Goddess's true name. Please do not use it carelessly. Farewell. Do not say something that we may regret. She... I... What exactly am I? Well, I mean, you're the you're the goddess of this religion. I I mean, how how to how to put this? I have almost. Um, it, it, this is one of those that it's. This was, I think, supposed to be a twist that really isn't a twist. We knew Sothis had to be a god of some in some way, shape, or form. I mean, it's a neat little thing that she's actually the goddess of this this whole church but still it's not a big holy shit sothis is a god who didn't see that um so i mean that's that's the one interesting thing and i have i have a theory about um um, um, um about about raya given the opening cinematic where we see uh who i believe was supposed to be saros defeating you know, uh, was supposed to be was like Saros, who was the not the god. I believe they're like their prophet or their messiah, whatever, defeating Nemesis. Uh, that was that opening cutscene where you know she takes the blade of the uh, the sword of the creator up to her cheek and leaves the blood stain because she and Rhea look so much alike. My theory is that Rhea is actually, um, that that Rhea is actually sort. Uh, Saros, that's her, that's that's the name, um, and she just never died. She just kept taking up a new identity and you know living all this time. I would be entirely wrong on that, um, but I uh, but I feel like maybe some other information that we get a little in probably the next chapter or two maybe hints at that a little here or there that there's something deeper going on with her, something a little more under the surface than even what we've already seen or kind of gotten the vibe of, but. Uh, like I said, I, there are some really cool twists in this game. Or at least as far as I've seen, there are some really neat twists. That, I would argue, is a baby twist, if any. For now, let's leave this place. Please, go. And I know it's weird that I ranted on that. It's just, I like I said, I feel like that's not really a twist. Um, but, nah, whatever. Uh, we're going to be moving on uh, to the next chapter in the next video. I want to say, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Facebook, Twitter, the website, Minds.com. Links to all that stuff is down in the description below. Like, comment, you're not already. Please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. More next time. Till then, my name is AJ Gels. This is the Game Channel. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm out.